Okay, this is the homework for Module 4, Lesson 5. These are all word problems. The first one says, when someone donated 14 gallons of paint to Roslyn Elementary School, the fifth grade decided to use the paint, um, to use it to paint murals. They split the gallons equally among four classes. So they had 14 gallons of paint, and they broke that up and divided it by four classes. So here is my um, tape diagram. I have 14 gallons. This is 14 gallons. And I broke that up into four classes. So it would be 14 gallons divided by four. And I can quickly put that into a fraction, which is 14 halves. But this is an improper fraction, so I needed to divide 14 divided by 4, which is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. So I have 3 wholes and 2 fourths. Okay, so each class had 3 and a half gallons or 3 and 2 fourths gallons because I went ahead and I simplified. Okay, it says how much paint will 3 classes use? Well, if 1 class uses 3 and a half gallons, they want to know how many three classes will use. So I can just draw a picture like that and explain my thinking. And I can add them up. Three and a half plus three and a half. Oops, plus three and a half. So three plus three plus three is nine. Plus I have one half plus one half plus one half. This is one, two, three. So nine plus three halves. Well, three halves equals, I have, I'm going to write it over here, I have 9 plus 2 halves plus 1 half, so this equals 10 and 1 half. So 3 classes, we'll use 10 and a half gallons. Okay, C, if 4 students share 30 square foot wall equally, how many square feet of the wall will be painted by each student? So we need to think, are we breaking up the students or breaking up the wall? And it says, how many square feet of wall will be painted by each student? So if we have 30 square feet of wall, and <coughs> each student, we have four students, and each one is going to paint a portion of that, we're taking the wall, which is 30, and we're dividing it by 4, which gives me 30 fortieths. But that's an improper fraction, so I'm going to do my work over here. 30 divided by 4, which is 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract, which gives me 2. So I have 7 and 2 fourths. So it asks how many square feet of the wall will be painted by each student. 7 and 2 fourths square feet of the wall will be painted by each student. Okay. You can also simplify 7 and 2 fourths and divide both by two, which gives me seven, and two divided by two is one, four divided by two is two. So it can either be seven and two-fourths or seven and one-half. What fraction of all will each student paint? Well, if we look at this, we have four sections. So here's the whole wall, and we have four students. We're breaking up into four sections. That means that each student will paint one-fourth. Okay. Let's look at Okay, for number two, Greg bought a three-foot-long baguette. Here's his three-foot-long baguette. Then he made four equal-sized sandwiches. What portion of the baguette was used for each sandwich? They just want to know what portion of this. And if there's four pieces, this is one piece. So the portion would be one-fourth. Okay. B says, how long in feet is one of Craig's sandwiches? Well, if we have three feet, 
and we break that up into four pieces. We want to know how much in feet one of these are, so we're taking the three feet and we're dividing it by four and that would actually give us, we can quickly go ahead and put that in, three-fourths. So, oops, one sandwich. is three-fourths feet. How many inches long is one of Craig's sandwiches? Well, if it's three-fourths feet, right, then we know that one foot is 12 inches. So we need to break 12 inches into fourths because that tells us, this tells me how many pieces there are total. So if I break this up into fourths, I need to figure out, okay, four pieces, so 12 divided by four is three, so each piece is three, because three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12. But if I have three out of the four, one, two, three, I have three, six, nine. So it would be nine inches. Okay, so it's nine inches. Number three. Scott has six days to save enough money for a $45 concert ticket. If he saves the same amount each day, what is the minimum amount he must save each day in order to reach his goal? They want to know about money money he needs to save in each day. So he has $45. That's his total. And he's going to break that up and save some each day into six days. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to know how much he saves each day. So if I take my $45 and I divide it by six, I'll figure out how much he needs to know in each day. But remember, it says express your answer in dollars. So in this case, we're not going to express it in fractions. It is. 45.6, but we need to express it in dollars. So that's zero. Zero times six is zero. <coughs> Bring down my five. 45 divided by six is three, six, sorry, seven. Seven times six is 42. <coughs> Subtract that, get three. Okay, because it's in dollars, I am going to add a decimal this time. Seven times, or what times um, six will give me 30? That's five. Five times six is 30. Move over, move over. Well, I have seven and five tenths, but if I need to put this in dollars, it would be seven dollars and fifty cents. So, Scott needs to save $7.50 each day.